Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So I'm really looking forward to filming today's video because I am doing another 90s inspired hair tutorial video. So you guys seem to like my last one and honestly I learned so much myself from just filming that because learning on the spot and doing the hairstyle for the first time in that video. And ever since that video I've been using like one or two of the styles a lot recently. Um, one being the straight hair with the plaits in the front. I just really 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 love that style and I think it is so cool. Um, so yeah I thought I'd film another one of these with brand new styles so I was going to do five 90s hairstyles. And if you guys didn't know, I did go to the hairdresser and change up my hair colour. So I really like this colour. Um, when I first showed you on camera after getting it done, it looked really dark. It's really dark and like off in that video. But this, how it is now, is more like true to colour in this video for some reason. When I filmed it that day, it just looked really different. But obviously it had like lots of darker streaks throughout it and it lightens up over time. I really like this colour, how it is now. By the way, this is Eamon Gear. Um, this is part of their new collection, which isn't available yet. So stay tuned for, not next week's video, but the one after. Anyway, before I get started into the video, I just want to talk about my earrings because I am absolutely obsessed. So as you guys might not know, I'm an Ana Luisa affiliate, um, which is an amazing jewellery brand. All of the jewellery you see me wearing in like my Instagram stories and on my Instagram and in my YouTube videos is all from Ana Luisa. So at the moment, Ana Luisa is holding a summer sale which is really cool they have a good discount on a lot of their jewelry so i'll leave the link down below where you can shop anna luisa and when you click that link the sale will be applied instantly so definitely go and check out their jewelry so many people say oh my god where's your jewelry from lately because i've been wearing it out like clubbing into town and everyone's like oh my gosh where are your earrings from so i am so stoked about that and Anna Luisa is also the first carbon neutral brand and it um, is really ethical so it pays respect to its workers um, and everything's made really well um, out of the finest quality metals. The jewellery is quite affordable as well especially because it is a really high end brand and they use nothing but quality metals and 14 karat gold plating on all of their jewellery and also they use like cubic zeronias and there is like such a great attention to detail throughout these earrings like it says Anna Luisa and writing like inside the earrings and everything is just made so well. All of the jewellery um, uses recycled materials which is really cool and on their website it says um, starting with recycled materials whenever possible, transparent business practices always and small batch designs that are kind to the earth. So they don't go out making like hundreds and hundreds of thousands of pieces and they are quite affordable their pieces start from $39 and all of their things are hyper allergenic as well so you're not going to get like itchy weird ears they also have a 365 day guarantee so they guarantee that this isn't going to like fade or go rusty or change color you know how like the cheap jewelry does and it like just goes all yuck and like brown um these won't so these first ones i featured in last month's video but my newest ones are this one it is so cool these ones are called julia i don't know if you can see that but there's a little cubic zeronia just there on the inside which is really cute and yeah these are such good quality so these ones are called cassie so these are spiral ones it like goes in a loop so you like put it in and like twist it around it's kind of like a nose ring like a circle almost you can see like it's sticking out like there and this is cubic zeronia i really wanted like a small one like this to put in my third ear piercing hole but when you turn it around it looks really cool at the back as well like goes over your whole ear and by the way everything comes in these cute little bags as well like look at that it's so cute and then there's also like some smaller ones and next i have the michelle cuff as you can see here it's like double ridges um, very cute. I love this, especially if you don't have lots of ear piercing holes and you want to like add that effect. This cubic zeronia is like up underneath. Oh, there's one. You can see one's like up in there and then one's like on the other side too. See? You can wear an ear cuff in lots of different ways. You can wear it like up here. I think that looks really nice. I'm going to wear this permanently, I think. And it's so good because I believe um, jewellery definitely just makes you feel more glam and makes you look 
prettier and more done up. It's a perfect gift for yourself. Um, and it's also a perfect gift to give others as well. Go and check out Ana Luisa. I'll leave their link down below and go and check out their summer sale. I'm going to do hairstyle number one. I did buy some Zala hair extensions in Champagne Blonde. My hairdresser did try to dye my Amazing Beauty Hair hair extensions and it just didn't work. And I was so gutted um, because they were like quite new. So I actually bought Zala hair extensions in Champagne Blonde. Oh my gosh, I can't get over the smell. I love it. Oh, the smell of new hair extensions is like the smell of new bed sheets. If you know, you know. Look at my extensions. Oh my gosh, it is a pretty good match if I do say so myself. Anyway, I'm gonna do the first hairstyle, which is like something like this. So it's got twists at the top, and I see a lot of people doing this on TikTok, and I think it looks so cool. Um, so what you wanna do is take four sections. I'm acting as if I know what I'm doing, but I don't. Okay, I'm gonna put this up high. I think this will look really cute because I really love straight hair. Even that looks cute. Oh my god. Okay, so I'm going to... How do they do it? They're like twisted. It. Oh my god. I don't know how to do the twist. Oh my god, there we go. Okay, I'm gonna... Did you see what I just did just then? I don't even know how to explain it. You want to twist it, but keep twisting it. You just want to keep twisting it um, away into the middle. Oh my god. Looks like I plaited it or something. Tie that with a hair tie before it becomes loose. Because I don't even know how I did that just then. I'm very proud of myself. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to tie that up with a hair tie Ugh. and tighten it up and you want to make sure you don't just grab the fringe like you want to grab here this is what I've discovered so you want to make sure you grab here like all along like all the way to the back like this or then it won't work okay I literally just twist in the front and then I keep adding hairs like this oh my god Oh my god, it's it's so easy. It just works. <laughs> it literally looks like I did a French plait in the front, but I didn't. Oh my god, I'm really proud of myself. So as you can see, I like start twisting it from the front. And then I just pull it in together and then keep twisting. I don't even know how to explain how I do that. And then just slowly gather all the hair that just takes its path okay there we go can you see that scenario oh my god i'm like literally proud of what i've achieved just now i'm just gonna make sure this is like fully straight like down here easy peasy took super quick especially if you've already got long hair i probably didn't even need my extensions in for this but i think it looks cute with thick hair so yay that's the first one what do you guys think? Oh my god, and from the side here, it looks so cute. See, with that little pigtail, like, gives some volume at the back. By the way, you guys should let me know your favourite hairstyle out of the ones I'm showing you down below in the comments, because I'd love to know. I don't know if I'm going to suit this, but who knows? I didn't think I was going to suit the first one and all the other 90s hairstyles I did in the last video I did, so let's go. So, okay, so you want to get the cutest little piece like that. So grab, like, quite a big section. You want to grab a smaller piece up here. Oh my god, I really need rubber bands for this. But, oh well. And you just want to tie this. I'm going to go like that. Okay, there's one. And then you want to grab like a bigger section. I'm so bad at like trying to talk to the camera and do my hair at the same time. It's my worst nightmare. So now what you want to do is you want to grab a hair tie and just leave sections like five centimeters apart and then just tie that it's slightly like oh my god slightly pull that one out like that oh my gosh this is gonna look so weird and slightly pull this one out it's like pretty easy from this point 
it's kind of alright, but I definitely think it would look nice with the clear rubber bands, but I think this still looks really cute. It didn't take too long. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this hairstyle. I'm going to get on to the next one. So I just took those little side things out. I'm just showing you how it looks like without them. I think I personally like it better without them. Like just like this. Like two that were the same colour in the top. In the photo I'm looking at, she's grabbed hair like all the way from her ears like this. And she leaves no crumbs. So I'm tying this part up. And really pull that at the top. Grab a section. If you can. This is why don't put extensions in yet. Like put them in after on your like down pieces. If you are wearing extensions. So you want to take like. A section like this and then you want to slowly wrap it around your pony. This will just make it really like high and snatched. Okay so here is this hairstyle. I think it looks really cool. Obviously if I did it properly and hid all my extensions on the side I would absolutely love this hairstyle. I really like the half up half down hairstyle. It reminds me of Ariana Grande, um, but it's not like exactly like hers, like because she had a big ponytail, so it's like kind of discreet. But yeah, I really like this style, I think it looks really cute. Um, I'm so glad the 90s brought back this kind of look, I think it is really cool, and I think this will suit most people. So here's the style at the top of the side. Okay, so I'm trying another style which is similar to that one that we just did. Um, I'm running out of time here. As you can see, it's getting quite dark behind me. So, I don't know. Um, I just took another extension out, by the way, because this is like an up hairstyle. This is going to take a long while to like really slick my hair back. So once you've got your ponytail, we're going to tie it up. Oh my god, I hope this little hair tie can hold the weight of the extensions. Bring it to one side. Now we're going to hairspray all of this. Because we want to kind of give it that hairspray look. Like, we don't want it to be too intense. So we're going to grab the hair and we're going to do like a little flick like this. Um, I don't normally wear like slick back hairstyles like this, but I do think it looks kind of cute. I'm not going to show you this way because this way all my extensions are sticking out. But um, yeah, it looks like this. I do like this, but it's not something that I'd personally wear out but let me know if you guys think it suits me okay so straight after that ponytail what i'm going to do is the last hairstyle so what you want to do is really brush your hair to the side make sure it's got a lot of hairspray in it have a middle parting um i also saw this hairstyle on madison bear for her boohoo um collection which was so pretty um so we're going to do this and then we're going to take some clips. So I wish I had blue ones but I've got these ones. You want them to be shaped like this. And I'm going to clip the damn thing in. Now clip them both in. And then we're going to give it like a big bouncy wave. So I'm going to turn on my hair curler. Add some bounce. Add some under here. I'm just trying to really hurry up this um, video because like the lighting is running out. This is this hairstyle. If you guys do follow Madison Bear, you'll know what I mean. Like this was her hair for the Boohoo campaign and I think it looked so pretty and it definitely was a 90s style so I decided to recreate it. So here it is. 
I really like it. I think it is so cute. So anyway, that was the end of my 90s hairstyles tutorial video. I hope you guys liked it. I really enjoyed filming this. I think it was so fun to just like experiment with different hairstyles and see like what suits me. And like I said, this was the first time doing them on camera. Like I haven't practiced them before anything. So I think it made it more exciting for me. Um, let me know down below what was your favorite hairstyle on me. I'd really, really love to know um, because I want to wear one of these out. Also, don't forget to check out Ana Luisa. I'll leave the link down below so you can get 20% off all the products. Um, and yeah, these are just so stunning. I know you guys will love their earrings. I just feel so glam and pretty whenever I wear them and I always get compliments. And I know you guys will love them too. There are so many amazing styles on the website. So definitely go and check it out. I hope you guys liked this video. If you want to see more tutorial videos like this or any hair related videos, then just give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. I hope you guys have a great week and I'll see you on my next week's video. Bye.